Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So let us start this lecture with a thought process. Most of people do not lead a true life of their own as they live to fulfill others' dream. Particularly nowadays, the market forces are, you know, making our dreams. <laughs> they are influencing our dreams. We don't have our own dreams because we don't have time to think and take a proper step. So you people should be very careful about it. And uh, what in our scripture says, Swadharma Nidhanam Treya, that means you should have your own Swadharma, means characteristics, right. So, in the last lecture, basically we discuss about how to handle the mixture fraction, right, or the fuel uh, ratio, particularly uh, when we are handling in the diffusion flame and we define a mixture fraction, we also related that to the equivalence ratio. And uh, I also told it is a conserved uh, scalar, uh, which is having a lot of uh, uh, ramification, particularly for diffusion flame, which we will be discussing later on. And now we will be continuing how to look at this combustion reactions, right. And uh, combustion reaction basically it evolved during the reaction and heat can be absorbed uh, during the uh, reactions, right. And if it is evolved, what do we call? We call it an exothermy reaction. If it is absorbed, we call it an endothermy reaction. So, question arises: If it is the case, some heat being evolved, and uh, we need to find it out during certain reactions, right? Then we will have to find out heat of reactions, right? Question arises: How we will find out heat of reactions, right? Uh, let us look at a burner, uh, which is I have shown here, one mole of uh, methane is reacting with 2 moles of oxidizer. Of course, it is going to the product very well that it will be 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 2 moles of water, right. And keep in mind that it is the this fuel and oxidizer entering into this reactor or the burner at 25 degree Celsius and 0 0.1 mega Pascal. It is also reaching the 25 degree Celsius and 0 0.1 mega Pascal. It is not really 0.1 mega Pascal, I would suggest that it should be 1 atmospheric pressure, okay, 1 atmospheric pressure, 1 atmosphere means 101325 Pascal, okay. And you might be wondering why I have taken this, any idea? Because see, we are talking about heat of reaction, there should be some standard state, you know. So, therefore, I have taken that right, because the standard state is your 25 degree Celsius and 1 atmosphere pressure, not 0 0.1 mega Pascal, okay. Are you getting? So, and uh, of course, uh, if the uh, it is reacted and some heat being evolved, then heat can be transferred that is Q, okay. Now, I need to find out how much heat is evolved, because whatever the heat is released that is going out, you know that is the balance, okay. So, for this what I love to do? How I will go about it? I will have to do basically carry out a heat balance, right. So, how I am going to do for this? Any idea? Very simple questions, right. So, what we will do? We will have to make some assumptions and we will have to apply which law? First law of thermodynamics, right. And what are the assumptions we are saying? Change in kinetic energy is 0. Change in kinetic energy is 0, change in potential energy is also 0 and steady state, steady flow process, okay. In this example, these are assumptions, right. Okay. And there is no work done, the sapped work is 0. So, with this assumption, we can find out basically, which is very easy. 
So, therefore, the if you look at the we need to invoke the first law of thermodynamic for a control volume. If you look at control volume is this is your control volume, this dashed line, right? And in that we need to apply the first law of thermodynamics, right? This is nothing but your control volume. Of course, what I have shown is a control surface, okay? <laughs> but totally is control volume. Fine. So, now I will have to apply the first law of thermodynamics for a control volume. What it would be? It would be d e by d t is equal to m dot, I am just writing full thing and you should keep in mind that full thing minus this is i, i is the inlet, this is exit h e plus v e square divided by 2 plus g z e. Okay this is i plus delta q minus delta w right this is 0 this is 0 and i am saying the change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy is also 0 right and keep in mind that what we are saying we are assuming that m dot i is equal to m dot e that is for steady flow process okay what is saying the mass is Conserve, okay. Continuity equation basically. And by that, what you are getting? You are getting basically delta Q is nothing but what is that? Is H E minus H I and what is E? E is here nothing but H P product minus H reactant. Okay. Yes or no? And that is the thing what you are getting from this expression. H means how we are getting H, H is the enthalpy, right? Mass flow rate into H, right? This will be steady flow process, so therefore it will be you know second second will cancel it out, that is the thing you will get. So, therefore, Q is nothing but dH change in enthalpy. See, that is a very simple thing you are talking about, okay and h p minus h r, h p is basically enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of reactant. What is enthalpy product? It is nothing but summation of n i p into h i p minus n i r h i r and this is for the basically product side, this is your p stand for product, r is reactant. And keep in mind that these are if all these are at 298, 0 means 1 atmospheric pressure, this is not exactly 298, 298.15 Kelvin, okay? right, exactly. Then we call this as a heat of reaction, this is your heat of reaction at STP, standards temperature and pressure. Right? This is uh, NIR is a number of moles in the ith reactant. Reactant can be anything like for example, methane, it can be methane and oxygen, nitrogen, right? I can stand for anything, right? And similarly, NIP is a number of moles of the ith product. Product means carbon dioxide and in this example, water, right? And keep in mind that we have taken only oxidizer, okay, not air. So, therefore, nitrogen will not come into picture. So, H i r enthalpy formation of unit mole of i th reactant and H i p is the enthalpy formation for unit mole of i th product and this i as I told you it can be uh, depending on the participating species in the reactant and also the product. So, heat of reaction basically depends on the temperature, right, is not it. But heat of reaction at standard state will be basically at the 298.15 Kelvin. So, if you look at this is your enthalpy of the product, right? and enthalpy of reactant is higher. So, therefore, in enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of reactant will be negative, therefore, it is an exothermic reaction and this difference is basically heat of reaction at STP. 
Now, if you look at, I have drawn these two parallel lines, will it be parallel? Will it be? It won't be, provided if C p is not a function of temperature, then it can be parallel. If C p is a function of temperature, it will not be. Okay. What would be, you people think about it, we will discuss little later on. Why I am not giving answer right now, because you will think. Okay. Are you getting my point? So, this is basically heat of reaction at standard temperature and pressure. So, if you look at heat of reaction is basically enthalpy change due to a chemical reaction, right. It need not to be only for the uh, our combustion reaction, it can be for any chemical reaction, okay. And generally it is uh, reported at the standard temperature and pressure. So, heat of combustion particularly when there is a fuel, right. And we call basically heat of combustion is nothing but heat of reaction divided by the fuel, right. And that is generally this can be heat of reaction can be positive, it can be negative. If it is exothermic, it will be negative, if it is endothermic, it will be positive by the convention, okay. But heat of combustion generally, okay, uh, not all the time because in some book you may find heat of combustion also negative they are giving, okay. So, generally we assume it to be positive, in our calculations we will be using as positive, right, all the time, because we take mod of heat of reaction divided by the, uh, the either in the moles or in the mass of the fuel, right. So, it will be a mega joule per kg, right, if it is a kg or mega joule per mole, you know, na, right, roughly some number, what will be methane uh, heat of combustion or any hydrocarbon, what it would be, any idea? Okay. If you do not have an idea, we will see. <coughs> okay. We will take an example and see. So, if you look at, if I am looking at the heat of reaction, right, evaluate or heat of combustion, because if I do not know the heat of reaction, I cannot find out heat of combustion. Okay. For that, I need to use heat of formation, is not it? Without that, I cannot calculate, right. So, therefore, it is very important and keep in mind that when you talk about heat of combustion, we call it as also calorific value. When you talk about calorific value, we can say low heating value or low calorific value, high calorific value. You remember we discussed earlier, right. So, that way one has to uh, you know aware about this thing. So, for this reaction, uh, one mole of uh, methane is reacting with two moles of oxidizer or oxygen rather, uh, reacting with, uh, giving to the product of 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 2 moles of water. And heat of reaction will be basically is N CO2 that is num, uh, N moles of carbon dioxide with the heat of formation of carbon dioxide 0 corresponding to 1 atmosphere pressure and of course, this corresponds to 298.18 Kelvin, 15 Kelvin into n moles of water into heat of formation of water minus the n moles of methane into heat of formation of methane plus n moles of oxygen into heat of formation of oxygen. That means, I should know these values, right. Of course, these values how well know? This from the table, I will have to use it or is there any other way I can get? Right. Yes, that again you will have to do that say and number of moles of course, you can get from here in this case number of moles is 1 mole here, right, water is 2 moles, right and uh, methane is 1 mole, oxygen is 2 moles. So, you know this thing. So, you, if you know these values, you can calculate very easily, right. Let us uh, consider an example like 1 mole of methane is uh, reacting with the uh, certain amount of oxy oxygen in a stoichiometric ratio, determine the heat of combustion, consider a reactant, reactant to be 298.15 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure, right. So, what you will have to do basically heat of combustion and when you talk about heat of combustion, we will be looking at both, okay. 
that means lower heating values are the higher heat of combustion, lower heat of combustion or higher heat of combustion. So, uh, so stoichiometric uh, you know CH4 and oxygen will be right, what it would be CH4 plus 2 oxygen going to the CO2 plus water, water is basically 2 and keep in mind all are in gas, we are considering as a gas right. So, change in enthalpy heat of reaction if you look at we need to find out first heat of reaction right, heat of reaction would be what it would be, it will be N C O 2 plus H F C O 2 plus N water H water right. So, uh, from this table for the heat of formation we can get these values right. Uh, so, for this case what will be? This will be 1 mole of carbon dioxide. So, 1 into 394 kilo joules per mole right. You can say or plus N S 2 this will be 2 into uh, minus 242 this is basically corresponding to gas right. So, minus N C H 4 is 1 into um, 74.5 plus N what uh, this will be basically 2 into this will be 0 right. So, this turns out to be something 803 kilo 803.5 kilo joule. Now, heat of combustion if you look at I am taking mod of delta H R naught divided by the mass of fuel right. I can also express some uh, you know in terms of moles also right ok. I can do that uh, people do uh, report, but this is a little easier to you know uh, keep in mind also easier to use therefore, I have used this here 803.5 mod means it will be positive although it is negative this will be positive divided by mass of fuel how I will find it out molecular dot of fuel into the 1 mole. So, that will be 16. So, this happens to be 50.2 right and this will be 10 power t minus 3 this will be kilo joule this will be mega joule per kg which is a very big you know amount of uh, what you call energy being released just you burn 1 uh, kg of methane you will get around 50.2 mega joule, mega means 10 power to 6 joule it is a very huge amount ok. And um, if it is a liquid you know instead of gas right, if it is a liquid what will happen this CH4 this will be gas definitely oxygen carbon dioxide to water it can be liquid ok. This is your gas. Now, this why you are doing because this heating value is basically lower heating value. I have given table here you can look at ok, maybe I will use this is basically lower heating value is equal to this. Now, I can do use the same expression here 
right. If I say this is equation 1, for that I can use, so for this what I will have to do? I will have to use these values, right. And uh, n will be 1 mole into same thing 394, if you look at this is carbon dioxide is 394 kilojoule per mole, okay. This is kilojoule per mole, is a 1 mole if you take, this is minus 394 plus 2 into what I will have to do, now I will have to do because a liquid, so 286 for the water, right, minus this will be same, right, 1 into minus 74.5 plus 0 because 0 is like um, heat of formation of oxygen is not given here, but this is 0, right. That happens to be something minus 891.5 kilojoule and heat of combustion or the higher heating values H H V is equal to delta S C, I can write down heat of combustion right is equal to delta H R naught divided by M M F. equal to 891.5 16 into 10 power 3 minus 3 is equal to 55.72 mega joule per kg. If you look at there is an increase in energy therefore, it is known as higher heating value right. So, uh, if you look at like we can uh, really uh, learn, we have learned now how to calculate the heat of combustion heat of reaction of course, using the heat of formations. This is the one method of calculating the heat of reaction. Now, question arises: is there any other method of heat of uh, reaction provided heat of formation is not there, right or it is a new uh, uh, you know uh, compound you have developed, how we are going to do that calculation, because I am we are interested to calculate heat of combustion. So, therefore, we need to know the calculate the heat of reaction, how we are going to do, we are going to discuss that in a next class, okay. Thank you very much.